I mean, whatever's going on here is just not a vibe. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello if you're new here, I hope you're good. My name is Asha, also known as Asha Mary Lou over on Instagram. I don't even know if I am ready to talk about what I'm about to vlog in this video. I was actually just gonna go to the appointment that I've got and then forgot that I haven't even explained anything in this intro. You've definitely already guessed what I'm about to say because of the title of this video and I genuinely genuinely can't believe I'm saying this but today I'm going to get all of my lip filler dissolved. So let's just talk a little bit about my lip filler situation. So I am 26. I have been getting lip filler since I was... I want to say 21. I have absolutely zero regrets by the way when it comes to my lip filler but if you think about the fact I started getting them done when I was 21 and I'm now 26 nearly 27 that is a lot of years of lip filler. Um, I haven't had them done now in like I want to say like a year and a half like 18 months so they have gone down quite a lot. Um, at one point I will put a picture in here some of you might not even recognize this girl but at one point they were so scarily big because I'd just gotten myself into this situation where I constantly wanted like big lips. But there's a few reasons why I'm getting this done. It's really funny because obviously I've had this appointment booked for a while and I recently saw that Molly Mae put a vlog up of her getting her lip filler dissolved so that was so interesting for me to see knowing that I'm literally at the time that I watched it days away from getting it done. But yeah there's a couple of reasons. Um, the main reason is that my vibe has changed totally in recent years. Like I'd say in the last two years the way I do my makeup, um, my fashion sense. A lot of you may have followed me back when I used to do literally a full face of makeup. Like, as you can see, I've got loads of freckles. You all know I've got loads of freckles because I always have them out even when I've got makeup on. But I never used to be that girl. Like, I was genuinely so insecure about my face, about my freckles. I needed, like, full coverage even just to go to the shops. And along with that, I liked big lips. And obviously that's totally fine. But my vibe has just changed. I go for a much more natural look with my makeup. I am completely different style wise. And yeah, I just feel like these big lips just aren't who I am as a person anymore. So yeah, I would say that is the main reason that my vibe has changed. Um, another reason is that I got my composite veneers done with matte. Um, I've got a whole different vlog on that, so we won't talk about that too much. Got them done now a year ago in September. I honestly love my teeth so much. Like, they literally couldn't be more perfect. But I feel like where the filler is, like, still really, really thick in my lip, it doesn't allow me to show off my teeth as much when I smile and I feel like they should be showed off because they're really nice. So I'm hoping like the less filler there is like gathered obviously above my teeth the easier it's going to be for me to smile, the more of my teeth it's going to show, the more that my teeth will be what my mouth is about rather than my lips if that makes sense. And then my third and final reason really is because when I got my rhinoplasty done in February obviously when you have surgery you have a tube down your throat and when the anaesthetist pulled the tube out of my throat they kind of do it at like the last minute when you're about to wake up that's when they have to do it so when he pulled it out I bit down really really hard it was just like my natural reaction and I literally cut right into my lips like all along here I'll show you in a second and why they've healed because it was literally so so scabby it's created lumps in my filler so I'll show you now but it's not a pretty sight there you go you can see there so I've got like a bigger one on this side and then that one's a little bit smaller but it's almost like a blister and that is literally from where I bit down when I got the tube taken out of my throat after my rhinoplasty. I am very lucky that I've never had any migration. So migration is where your filler goes basically from your lip area and goes up into this bit here and almost creates like a white border that kind of almost looks like you've got a bit of a moustache going on. I've never had migration. A lot of girls get their lip filler dissolved because they're suffering with migration. That is because my practitioner is just the absolute dream. She's just the best and she has done my filler for years. So yeah, I've not got any migration at all. I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely shitting myself to the point where last night I genuinely couldn't sleep. Like how pathetic is that? 
but if you think about it these lips have been my comfort blanket for so long like this has like been my thing that I've done to like make me feel good about myself because I didn't like my lips naturally who knows it might go down because it takes like a few days to work and then I might absolutely hate it and decide to get you know half a mil or something very very small put back into my lips my plan hopefully if they don't look too crazy is to not get anything put in them at all um but if it's a bit too much of a shock to the system then i probably will go back and get half a mil put in in like a few months time or something i am going to my lip practitioner who i've always been to her name is sophia bailey she does all sorts of fillers she is the best in the business like she is literally next level and she's done so amazing because she's built her business up to be like this huge successful businesswoman and she is so good at what she does that like, she now trains other practitioners and nurses even to be able to do her techniques and the way she does it she's just the best like i'll put her at on screen here and i'll also put it in the description down below so Sophia I've known for a long time now of course she's been doing my lips for a long time we're quite good friends so she's going to be dissolving them for me um and I'm also going to be getting a bit of filler in my chin that is something I've had for a long time as well as my lips and it's something that I feel like really sort of balances my profile because I have naturally a little bit of a dimple in my chin and I've never liked it so Sophia's always just put a tiny bit of filler in it for me as and when so we're going to do that as well so you'll see that in the video so just before I head off I thought I'd update you all let you all know why I'm doing it and let you all know how nervous I am like James has never seen me without these big lips I'm so scared that he's gonna think I look really different I better head off so I will see you all when I get there guys I've just got to the car park I literally feel so sick I'm so nervous um but I'm like a 10 minute walk away so I need to hurry up and get my arse into gear but I just thought I would document the very last time that my lips are going to look this way how crazy i'm gonna show you some snippets of uh sophia's new clinic by the way because it is literally next level so i'll put some clips of it in the video here she looks familiar literally instagram versus who even is that right now? Who even is that right now? Here she is, the queen herself. massage or not it's going to work no matter what but what massage does is help it get in there even quicker okay, okay. just a clean thing is just grab your lips massage and massage and massage it this is how we're looking fresh off the needle my lips are obviously really really swollen but yeah this is the swelling so far i feel like i've just had my lips done but fingers crossed this is the most of the swelling guys i can't find my car so that's fun and also very swollen found the car i am one of two cars left in this car park um and it's only like five past seven which is weird like where is everybody at this time honestly i can't take myself seriously with these lips but here's a bit of realness guys it's nine o'clock and i'm about to go to bed and just because obviously it's dark and the lighting is awful 
thought I would like talk you through everything in the morning instead when hopefully I've got more of a result to show you. So the swelling started to go down but here in the middle is literally so swollen. But yeah, apparently by the morning it's all going to be gone, which is like magic really. I've literally got cream all over my nose that I've not even rubbed in. Guys, we are a couple of days later now and I forgot to come on here and vlog yesterday did i say i would update you in the morning but to be honest my swelling was still quite bad and i had quite a lot of bruising um and now like they're completely fine and also completely gone so this is now like my natural lip so my bottom lip was always a little bit bigger anyway um and then as you can see this is my top lip so i've still got quite a defined cupid's bow obviously they're just not half as full as what they normally would be i look an absolute mess i'm just gonna get some makeup on so i can shoot some outfit content Content, but I thought I'd come on and show you how they are looking completely barefaced and then it will actually be the first time I've put any makeup on today since I got them dissolved. I'm not gonna lie, I feel so strange. Like I am just so used to my face having like these big filled lips. So yeah, it's really, really strange. Guys, it is not even normal how out of breath I am from running up the stairs. But yeah, this is how my lips look with makeup on so i've just got like my usual outfit taken makeup on nothing crazy which is pretty much what i always wear anyway and honestly like my lips look so strange but one thing i love is that i feel like you can see a lot more of my teeth now like when i'm talking i feel like my lips don't take over my face oh my god look at that bronzer on my fleece okay let's just ignore that forget that so yeah i may be looking a bit strange to some of you right now because a lot of you here well yeah pretty much all of you here only would have ever seen me with my like huge lip so when they completely went down um so i got them done normally sophia will do people's lips in the daytime obviously and then literally by the next morning so 24 hours later it will literally be completely gone but i got mine done at seven o'clock in the evening so when i woke up there was still quite a lot of swelling so they still hadn't completely gone down but now they are like completely natural like there is literally no filler in these lips whatsoever which is mad to think that there's a product that can just completely dissolve your filler but the product that they use to dissolve the filler i know the name of it but i want to say hollandaise hollandaise but i feel like that's a sauce that you have on your food so i'm not sure if it's not hollandaise it sounds a lot like it i feel like i'm gonna have to google it i'm gonna google it to find out what it is okay i've just googled it it's called hyaluronidase I feel like I was pretty close, right? So yeah, that stuff that they use to dissolve your lip filler, the reason why it works so quick once it's been injected is because it is generally what they use in emergencies with lip filler. So for, if example, a practitioner hits a vein when they put lip filler in or has a reaction sort of as soon as the lip filler goes in, they can put this stuff in to sort of dissolve it in the quickest time. So the stuff that they use in those emergencies is what they use if somebody wants their lip filler dissolving, like me, with what they use to dissolve your lips that you could be allergic to it. So what Sophia did and obviously what every other practitioner does who uses this stuff she injected a little bit of it into my forearm here and then literally within like five minutes she can see how your body reacts to it or if she shouldn't be using it on your face but yeah i just think it's really really good that they can put it in your arm to sort of test the waters with how your body is going to take to it and how your blood will react to it and your skin as well and then she put the um dissolve it into my lips so you would have seen already in the clips i got numbed up completely anyway sophia uses like really really strong numbing creams because i haven't had my lips done in so long like before i got the dissolve i hadn't had my lip filler done in so long i kind of forgotten like the sharp pinch of it so yeah i just sort of forgotten like the pinchy feeling in your lips because obviously like the skin of your lips is completely and utterly um like more tender than like your normal skin so i did forget a little bit the like pinchy feeling you can probably see me like jumping a little bit in the video but sophia gives you a little branded stress ball honestly like her clinic is next level and she gives you these little branded stress balls i've lost a nail on that them. let's just ignore that so i was literally squeezing that stress ball like pulling it apart but yeah it was absolutely fine it was like over a lot quicker than lip filler i think it was literally like 20 seconds on each side of my lips that was literally it and it was in and out in and out in and out pain for me was like 
I'm gonna say like a six out of ten like the actual needle going in is like the only painful bit like afterwards it's like tingy and a little bit like irritant but nothing like painful or like that you can't handle at all my lumps I mean I'm trying not to ruin my makeup because I've literally just done it but my lumps that I pointed out at the start of the video are completely gone because obviously they were all to do with the filler and that has all been dissolved but isn't it just mad how it works like Sophia is just like the best at explaining things she's really really good at putting things in like normal people terms if that makes sense like she takes it from like the medical terms breaks it down into bite-sized pieces and she basically just said the thing that she's put in my lips acts like pac-man and it's literally going at all of the filler and eating away at it until it's all gone so the aftercare she gave me some i think it was vitamin a and vitamin d like cream in like a sachet and you just have to put it on for the next few days and keep it hydrated and i also drank a lot of water as well just to keep them hydrated now you might be able to tell more in the clips where i haven't got makeup on but you can kind of see like the crease in like when i put my lips together like that in my lips i mean obviously that happens with natural lips but when you've had filler it pushes the skin out so that never ever ever happens so I feel like they look a little bit wrinkly but obviously I know that that's a normal way that lips should look because they shouldn't be so smooth like they are with filler but one thing she did say is that she thinks I am gonna want to have half a mil put back into my lips which at first I was like no no absolutely not like I want it all gone like it's just not my cup of tea anymore but now that I haven't got the filler in and it is such a shock I'm just gonna sort of play it by ear I don't know maybe you guys can let me know what you think like I don't know if this looks strange like they still should have like a tiny bit of fullness to them I don't know if I look weird or whether it's just not me getting used to them so I'm not gonna rush to book in an appointment to have like the half a mil done but I'm just gonna play it by ear see how I get on with them see if I manage to get used to it and then go from there but literally half a mil would be nothing like I'll give you an idea in the lips that I had dissolved I had built up probably around 8 mil of filler in those lips over the years so half a mil would literally be nothing compared to that and I would leave my bottom lip alone and maybe just get a bit put into like the fuller bit of my lips I'm not really sure yet I'm really not sure it all depends on how I get used to them but honestly now that I'm a few days later and now that I've got makeup on I feel like they do suit my face and that I do look nice this is really really sad but when I um looked in the mirror like the day that they were actually completely gone I was like oh my god you look so ugly like I genuinely felt like my prettiness had just completely gone i know that that sounds so strange but i guess i've had them now for like so many years and i've gotten used to my face and every day i see myself looking that way i guess that's what you get for falling into this trap of trends like the kylie jenner lips and constantly keeping up with that and like getting it into your head that like small lips are ugly and bigger lips make you more beautiful i just feel like it is quite damaging. I genuinely felt ugly when i first looked in the mirror and james is probably sick of me but i'm like do you still find me attractive? Like, do I look different? Do I look weird? He did say that I look different. He said I look, like, really different. And, like, the first couple of days was weird getting used to it. But, yeah, I feel like it was a big thing for me to do this. Like, that may sound so pathetic to other people. But, like I say, my lip filler is something I've been getting done for a long time. And for me to actually pluck up the courage and completely strip back and get rid, I feel like is a bit of a big deal and I think just to admit that that's not me anymore and I am really really happy with my decision and they feel so much nicer like I can't even tell you what it feels like to be able to feel like your natural lip tissue you guys can let me know your opinions and let me know what you think do I look any different without them do I look like I'm talking funny because I feel like I'm talking funny but yeah I hope this video has been helpful and if anybody is in the same boat where you've got these big lips and you just want to get rid because they're just not your cup of tea anymore they're not your thing anymore got somebody to come to to ask for advice and literally reach out for me comment on this video come to me on instagram and literally ask me anything i will genuinely be happy to help anybody like i always am with anything that i get done like i've already said a link to sophia's instagram will be down below and also a link to my instagram as well if you want to come and follow me on there in the meantime but otherwise i will see you all in next week's video it's gonna be so weird editing this back and seeing me with my old lips but yeah i'll see you all next week bye